Hi boys and girls. So today we're going to be reading a story about why you've seen people um, wearing these a lot. So these we put in our face like this and it covers our nose and our mouth. So we're going to talk about why we are, why you see people wearing these, okay? So let's get started with the story. So a story is called Wearing a Mask. So here you see, it says, because of coronavirus, I need to wear a mask whenever I go places. Your mask keeps me safe. You see, people in my family, neighborhood, and community wear, are wearing masks. You see, you have seen a lot of people wearing masks, right? My mask keeps me safe. Your mask keeps me safe. So if you wear a mask, it keeps me safe. If I wear a mask, it keeps me safe. It keeps you safe, right? So I need to wear a mask even when, if I feel healthy. So even though you don't, feel like you're sick, we still need to wear a mask, right? It is important to wear a mask every time I leave the house. So like Miss Mariela, every single time that I have to go to the store to buy food, I have to remember that I have to wear my mask because I need to keep everyone in the store safe and I need to keep myself safe. And so you have to make sure mommy and daddy wear their mask whenever they go outside, right? There are many types of masks made from different things. Some are clear, like this one you see. So you can see people's faces and their mouths when they talk. I can try different masks to find one that I like. So when we go back to school, you guys are going to be wearing masks. So you guys are going to try to find one that you like and one that you feel comfortable with so that you can take it to school and we can all stay safe. I can wear a mask from a store or I can make my own mask. You see here? So you can make your own or you can buy one at the store. I can make my mask fun by decorating it. Yeah, so you can buy one and make a really cute um, mask by putting some stars on it, like this one. Um, like, see, Miss Mariela bought this mask because she liked the color. So I'm making it fun so that when I wear it, I like the mask that I'm wearing, All right? These aren't the same as doctor masks. So the ones we wear are not what doctors wear, right? They're, these masks keep me and my community safe. I should always wash my hands before putting on my mask. So when you put on your mask, when you're going to put on your mask, you need to make sure you wash your hands. And do you guys remember how long we have to wash our hands for? Yeah, we have to wash them for 20 seconds. So 20 seconds, we have to scrub our hands so that they're perfectly clean. And then once our hands are sparkly clean, we can put on our mask. And the same thing is when we take it off, we have to wash our hands. And we have to make sure that we never touch our, the front of our mask because that's dirty. Right. My mask will cover my nose, it will cover my mouth and my chin and make sure it feels snug. That means when it's snug, it means it feels a little tight on your face so you don't have any um, little holes or any parts that you can put things in, okay? At first, my mask might not feel comfortable. I know when 
all of this started and you first started seeing people wearing a mask, none, no one felt comfortable with the mask, you know, and no one wanted to wear it. But we need to wear it because we need to keep everyone safe and we need to keep ourselves safe, right? By wearing a mask, you're helping yourself and you're helping your family because we're going to be all safe, right? So we, even though it's not comfortable and even though you don't want to be wearing it, we have to try our best to keep it on the whole time that we're out, okay? There are, the more I practice wearing my mask, the easier it will be to wear it, you see? So she's getting comfortable wearing a mask. When I return home and take off my mask, I should wash my hands. Remember we talked about after taking it off, we have to make sure we wash our hands. If my mask is made of cloth, like Miss Mariela's, like this one, this is cloth, I should wash it right away. So Miss Mariela washes her mask every single day. That way the next day when I wear it, it's clean. And if you have some that you can't wear, then you have to make sure that you um, either throw it away and get a new one or um, you clean it, clean your mask, okay? I can wear a new mask the next time I go out. Wearing a mask keeps everyone safe. Yeah, so we have to make sure that once we go back to school, everyone is keeping their mask on their face and we're washing our hands and we're doing everything possible to stay safe, right? Because we want to go back to school, but we also want to be safe, right? Okay, my friends. So tomorrow we will look at how much is six feet. Because when we go back to school, we're going to have to make sure that we are all staying six feet apart. So Miss Mariela is going to help you measure how long that is, okay? So you guys can get an idea of how far we each have to be once we go back to school, okay? And we'll make it fun, okay? Thank you, my friends. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!